Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own do-it-yourself 100 watt portable foldable solar panel. And don't worry, this suitcase style solar panel build is beginner friendly. I'll show you everything step by step, all the tools and parts I used, and I'll put affiliate links down in the video description so you can price them out for yourself. I'll also show you how easy it is to connect multiple solar panels together. Here is my workflow plan for building the suitcase solar panel. First, I'm going to attach the hinges and then I'll mount the carry handle and the sash lock and I'll fabricate the kickstand legs. The final part of the build is going to be the wiring, but don't worry. It's super simple. Here's the hinges that I picked up. This was a pack of 20. These are stainless steel and they come with screws. I'm gonna be using this here Loctite. This is thread locker for the screws. You could also buy hinges for as little as $2.47 at Home Depot. That's actually where I bought my sash lock and my metal handle for just over seven bucks. These panels measure 20 inches by almost 23. The solar panels that I'm using today are Renogy panels. I picked them up on Amazon for a little over 40 bucks each. I'll make sure I drop affiliate links for these and the rest of the products in today's video down in the video description. Before I can mount the hinges and the sash lock, I need to put these two panels together, square them up and clamp them. To mount these hinges, I use the center punch to locate my pilot hole location. And for my pilot holes, I'm gonna be using a 764th drill bit. When I put in these screws, I'm gonna be using some red permanent thread locker. When you're using this, make sure you mix it up real good. And a little dab will do ya. I've got the hinges mounted. All 12 screws are tightened up with the thread locker. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to attach this sash lock to the other side. I'm going to mark my hole location with my center punch, just like I did on the hinges. Now I'm going to drill my pilot holes. I'm not going to be using the screws that came with it, although you could. I have some of these pan head self tapping screws and because the head of the screw is not going to interfere like the hinge side, these are going to work out. When I install sash locks, here's a little tip. I like to do the fixed side first. Now this is the hook that the actual latch is going to attach to. And I like to turn this thing to 90 degrees. This is kind of three quarters latched. Let me show you why. To mark my hole location for this latching side, I'm gonna pull this thing all the way tight. That way, when I close it, it'll actually tighten up the two solar panels closer together. Now, when I close the latch, it's nice and snug. Our hinges are mounted and we've got our sash lock installed. Now we need a carry handle. We're gonna mount this guy right there. And then we'll move on to fabricating kickstands and the wiring. I noticed two of my hinge screws have already stripped out. So I'm gonna fix it with some rivets. I'm just gonna drill that out and put in a pop rivet. And we'll see how that goes. So if any of these other screws fail, that's gonna be my fix is the rivet. You might consider just riveting them all to begin with, but I still have faith in the screw and the thread lock. My kickstands are going to be made from one inch aluminum angle. This is 1 16th inch thick material and I picked this up at Home Depot. The easiest way that I found to cut aluminum is with a carbide blade and my chop saw, but you could also use a hacksaw. 
Here are all the parts for my kickstand. Each side is going to have a 3 quarter inch long 5 16 bolt. I've got 5 16 washers. Then I have these nylon locking 5 16 nuts. Then I've got my small mounting piece and then I have the kickstand leg itself. So to put these legs together, I'm going to measure down an inch and then I'm going to measure down another half inch on the side support. This is where the leg is actually going to go right up into that. So that's where the leg is going to stop. And then at this half inch mark, that is where I'm going to drill the hole. That'll be the hinge for the leg. And then I'm going to need to nip off the corner so that it doesn't hit the solar panel. To put the whole leg together, I'll start with a 5 16 washer over my 5 16 bolt. And then we're going to put on the leg. Then we'll add another 5 16 washer. And then we'll do the nylon locking 5 16 nut. So I've actually made three legs. I've made two left legs and one right leg. To mount the kickstand legs, I'm going to use the same drill bit and the same self tapping screws that I used for the other hardware. The way I've designed these legs, I'm just going to put them on the inside of the panels and shove them all the way up to the top support of the solar panel. Now that the construction phase is complete, let's move on to the wiring. This part of the build is super easy. It's basically plug and play. On the back of each of our solar panels, we have NC4 connectors. We need to adapt that over to SAE 2 pin. For that, I've got these two adapters. Next, I have my two pin splitter. This is called a Y splitter. We're going to connect this to the two solar panels and the other end will connect to our extension cable. You can expect to spend approximately $30 to $40 to do your wiring this way. I'll be sure to put all the links down in the video description. Now let me show you how easy it is to hook this thing up to a camper and to a second solar panel. To connect the briefcase solar panel to the camper, I just need to find the right adapter. This camper has the Furion plug, so I picked up a Furion to SA2 pin. To connect a single suitcase solar panel to my solar generator or even a camper, all I have to do is plug in my two pin connector. To connect the second suitcase solar panel, all I need is another one of these two pin Y splitters. I'll connect one solar panel to one side and the other solar panel to the other and the extension cord to the single end. And to store my solar suitcase panels, I found these really cool zipper tote bags. I'll leave links for these down in the description too. Check out my entire playlist for this solar generator and panel project. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again.